Hi, I'm Paul Tursley, and this is a demo of PT Auto Express. Uh, you can use this script to add some commonly used expressions to your project. Uh, and even if you're not familiar with the expressions, you should be able to use this no problem. So to uh, install the script, uh, you want to install this file here in uh, After Effects Scripts Script UI Panels folder. You can see I've already put a copy in here. Uh, then when you restart After Effects, you'll be able to select that script from the window menu. And it's got a dockable UI, so you can drop it in wherever you want it in your interface. So uh, here are the different expressions that you can apply. I'm going to start with the loop expression, which is a great little expression, this, but I don't think uh, many people know about it. Um, and uh, what you can do with this uh, expression is you can extend... Uh, your keyframes beyond extend extend your animation beyond your keyframes. So um, I'm just going to create a solid layer here and add a couple of position keyframes. And uh, I'm going to choose this. Uh, you've got various different behaviors you can choose for loop. And uh, I'm going to start with continue. So uh, with the property selected, just hit apply, and you can see the value turns red here, which means that the uh, the property is being controlled by an expression. If you twirl this open, you can see the expression in here. So what uh, continue does is it will continue the change in the in the um, keyframe value uh, after the after the keyframes. So you can see it's continuing that motion there, um, and that's uh, continuing after because I've selected this after option. So I could also choose to continue before as well. So there you can see. It's continuing those values before and after the keyframes. So that's a great uh, little way of just creating some continuous motion, maybe for something like uh, fractal noise offset or something like that. Um, you can, if you want to uh, make it go faster, just move the keyframes closer together. Um, you can uh, change the uh, direction and you can see it all updates live. So, uh, so that's continue. So let's. Um, Let's look at a couple of other, uh, oops, a couple of the other options. So uh, I'm going to create a little kind of bounce here, and um, you can see what that does on continue at the moment. And so let's change that to cycle. Let's apply that. So you can see what cycle will do is it will cycle your keyframes. Then we have uh, ping pong, which will uh, loop them but uh, with a backwards and forwards um, and then we have uh, offsets so this will um, cycle the keyframes but with an offset at the loop point so there's no jump so uh, let's um, and as you can see you can mix that up so you can have a different behavior before at the moment we've got continue before and offset afterwards so if I change that to uh, offset there as well you can see I've created this kind of bouncing square and um, by default, it will uh, loop all keyframes. So um, let's just add another keyframe here. And uh, I'll show you that um, if, if you change these, but like I said, it, uh, by default, it does all keyframes. You can see the zero means all keyframes. If I change that value to one, it will, it will always include the first or last keyframe. So changing that value to one, what that will do is it will actually loop the last two keyframes. So if we see. Oh, let's put that on cycle. So if we watch this, we'll see that that's now it's only cycling the last two keyframes. Um, and you can also specify loop duration. So rather than a number of keyframes, you can specify a, a duration in time backwards from the last keyframe that is that is used in the loop. So um, so that's loop. Let's uh, move on to wiggle. So wiggle is is probably the most commonly used expression. And is great for uh, introducing changes to to any kind of properties, really. Um, but let's start with uh, position. So let's apply that, and you can see now we have this wiggle, wiggling position, wiggling uh, once per second by up to twenty pixels. So let's change that amount to two hundred there, and you can see we've got much more wiggle. Um, we can, uh, for multi-dimensional properties like position or scale, we can 
we can choose which axis that we want to wiggle. So I could say I just want to wiggle the Y axis. Um, and you can um, you can also control the amount of wiggle over time. So there's this U slider to control amount. So if I turn that on and hit apply, it creates this um, expression of uh, expression control effect called wiggle amount. And uh, you can use that to animate the result of the wiggle over time. So let's add a keyframe of 200 there and then move to the beginning and add a keyframe of zero. And uh, let's watch the result of that. So you can see it starts off with no wiggle then the amount of wiggle grows over time. So, um, what else? So you can, um, we can, we can apply this to all kinds of properties, and it will always try to create the correct expression for any given property. So, uh, let's uh, wiggle uh, opacity. You can see that's making the um, the layer flicker, the opacity change over time. So it's great for flickering lights or candles. Um, or let's um, you can even wiggle uh, color properties. So let's add a fill effect, and uh, we'll apply a wiggle to the color property. And you can see that's kind of kind of changing over time. If you want to see the result of this, there's this uh, this little graph icon down here. If you turn that on, it will show you the results of the expression. So, when I turn that on, you can see the results in the um, in the color bar here. So, um, with the color, it's actually the the dimension checkbox is Control R, G, and B. So, uh, at the moment, I'm only wiggling the um, the green color properties. So, you would turn all of them on. So that would be R, G, B. So, oops. So then that's wiggling uh, all, all RGB uh, color, uh, color values. So, um, so that's uh, Wiggle. Then we have uh, Wiggle Pro, which uh, it's the same expression, but Wiggle has some extra parameters, and this exposes those. So, uh, for example, we have uh, iterations here. Um, if you uh, raise the number of iterations, that's the equivalent of making up for a more jagged wiggle. Um, and you have um, s options for slider controls to control frequency and amount. Uh, you can offset the results in time. Uh, there's even this thing, uh, temporal wiggle, which um, I don't know how useful this is, but um, what temporal wiggle will do is rather than wiggling the actual value, it will wiggle the time at which the value is sampled so it's let's turn that on and hit apply and um, so i just had those two keyframes going from one one position to the other and you can see that's now that's probably a bit extreme let's put that amount down to one but you can now see that that's wiggling it's only uh, only using the values between here and here but it's wiggling where that value is taken from um, so that's uh, Wiggle and Wiggle Pro. So uh, finally, let's um, move on to the smooth, which may be not quite as useful as the other expressions, but uh, smooth is kind of the flip side to uh, Wiggle. Um, and what you can do with this is you can use it to smooth out, for example, a motion path or a like, slightly jaggedy track. Um, so I'm going to apply the use motion sketch here to just apply some wiggly motion to my layer and um, let's uh, apply the smooth expression and um, again like with the uh, color property to to see the results of the expression um, the motion path here you can turn on this graph icon and then so that shows you the smooth result uh, with the expression applied um, so you can see it's uh, smoothed that out quite a bit. And um, the range here is the range in time, uh, and then samples is the number of frames that sampled within that time to calculate the average for any particular frame. So more samples will, should give you a smoother result. Um, a, a wider range will give you a, a, a more average result. So... Um, so that's the um, so that's the smooth expression. So uh, that's uh, the my demo over. So I hope you find the script useful. Thanks.